What reality are you crafting? And this has just kind of inspired some work that I am doing today and just really thinking about consciously like your personality creates your personal reality. And all that means is, okay, follow me here. I know this is going deep early, but follow me here. Your thoughts lead to feelings that then lead to actions that then lead to thoughts that lead to feelings that lead to actions. So it's like this loop, right? Or a pyramid or a triangle or whatever you want to say. And it's interesting really thinking about it. And I got caught off guard, like, okay, wait a second. Am I like actually crafting my own reality or is like reality happening and I'm like responding to it, right? Like, am I just responding to what life is throwing at me? Or am I actually creating and crafting this life that I want, that I want to live in and want to be a part of as far as like my body and working out and getting healthy and my being, my connection with the source of God, my balance, which is my relationship, right? And then my business, like what am I building in my business each day? Am I allowing life to happen to me and just wondering like what's coming next? Or am I actually crafting that reality that I'm actually pushing back into life and then telling, hey, this is what I want to see back because I'm planting all these seeds or whatever it might be. And so I'm, I'm actually still trying to like internalize it and understand it and really figure it out. Kind of like I'm, I'm stepping through the process of like, okay, so if that is the case, then what about this? If that is the case, then what about that? Like, does it make sense? Like, does, is this really true? And that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. I was like, do I believe this to be true? Because it seems like it's true, but is it really true? Or am I just making this up and it's not really true, but I feel like it's true. And so as I'm walking through it, it's like, okay, yeah. Like if, if your thoughts dictate your feelings, which seems to be true, and then your feelings about whatever it might be dictates your actions. Like, oh man, I don't really want to do that because I just told myself a story or a thought that I had that's not empowering. So it disempowered me. And now I don't want to take any actions because of that. Yeah, and then it goes back to your thoughts. Okay, well, now I feel like a piece of crap because I didn't do what I was supposed to do because I felt bad about that. And so it's like this self-fulfilling prophecy. Or the flip side of that is true, where you have these thoughts that are empowering that lead to feelings of like good feelings, like the what we as humans perceive as good feelings that maybe high, have what's called a high, higher vibrational frequency in the feeling chart. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's freaking awesome. But like shame is at the very bottom and joy and love or, you know, gratitude are closer to the top and like, okay, so if I can then dictate the feelings that I have based on the thoughts that I have, <laughs> I hope you're following me, right? So if I can dictate the feelings that I have based on the thoughts that I have, and then those thoughts lead to the good feelings. So good, empowering thoughts lead to good, empowering feelings. Then I can take inspired action. Okay. So how do I do that then? So this is what I mean by, are you actually crafting your reality or are you just letting your reality happen and then responding to it and trying to figure out like, what's going on here? What's going on there? Like what? I don't, I don't get it. Right? So it, it's interesting just talking through it because now I, I have that um, feeling pyramid. Let me see if I can pull it up and I don't know if I can show it to you because it'll be on a different screen. But like the, the feeling pyramid of the frequencies, right, is really, really amazing. And feeling pyramid frequency, doing this real time and just wondering like, okay, so how, how do I craft that then? I wake up in the morning, I'm like, all right, this is great. I feel good. Let's, let's go do something. And then I, so that's a good thought. Then it leads to a good feeling like, oh man, I'm pumped up. I'm ready to go. And then, you know, go to the gym instead of hang out in bed. I don't, I don't know. And it's one of those things that I'm, I'm really going to put it to practice. Like this is a challenge for me until the end of this month. So 21 days. Can you believe that? 21 more days and that's it till the end of July. It's already the 10th. Like what's happening here? And it goes to like, my daughter just turned nine years old and I can't believe it. Like, how's this even possible that she's nine? My son's 10. And like, and everybody tells me like that time's going to fly by even faster till they're 18 and then out of the house. Hopefully, right? Get out of the house. And so it, it's really interesting because 
what does that even mean? What does that even mean? And so actually I want to give a shout out to my friend Troy's daughter, Chandler. If you're watching this, I just want to say hi. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking my posts. And I actually talked to my buddy Troy today and he was telling me how his daughters think um, my videos are funny and she's the one that's on Instagram. So anywho, but really it's like, and maybe that's another uh, another talking point is when I spoke with my buddy Troy, like he and I are pretty high energy and we kind of like lift each other's spirits. So it's always a fun, good conversation where I think we both like walk away like, oh, that was good. That was good. Unless, you know, and we, we have our bad days too, right? When one of us is going through some stuff that we really need the other's um, guidance on, and you know, and things like that. But ultimately for me, it's okay. How do I then create consciously this life that I want, create this life by design, crafting my reality by having empowering thoughts that lead to powerful feelings that then lead to inspired action. How do you do that? So it's called crafting it. You have to craft it. You have to practice it. You have to work at it. You have to do like a mental diet of like kicking out the old stories like, hiya, get out of here and kicking out the old stories while you are training your mind on the new stories of the new reality that you want. So it's interesting, this realm of possibility that I'm sitting in right now after going through three months of stuff that like have totally shifted and changed my life in such a dramatic and positive way for the most part, right? Like even all the pain has been beautiful and has been helpful in regards to what I ultimately want. And it, I'll, I'll leave you with this last thought because I feel like I'm kind of talking in circles, even although I'm hoping it makes, makes sense for you guys, is this, is life isn't, in, life isn't happening to you. Life is happening through you, right? You've heard me say life isn't happening to you. It's happening for you, which I do believe, but that for you is through you, meaning life is not happening to me. Life is happening through me. I am creating this reality with how I respond, what I think, how I act, how I feel. How does that come into play with creating this life of conscious design? Right? Isn't that crazy? So I love it. I, I love this stuff because I feel like if you can truly craft your own reality by changing the electromagnetic field around you, around your body, around your spirit, around your energy, this energetic connection that we have with other people is based on that, right? Thoughts, feelings, actions. And you can feel that energy usually, like if you're around somebody that's super sad or somebody that's super happy, right? Like totally different energy. Like you can just feel it and they don't have to really do anything. You can just walk by somebody and feel that energy and you're just like, oh, hey. And it's interesting. I've actually had that happen in reverse to me at, at the gym. My buddy Brian's like, hey, what's going on, man? It's not the uh, usual energetic happy tailor. I'm just like, Bleh, I'm tired. Yeah, and he, he could just feel the energy, right? So I guess what I'm saying is you can craft your own, if you can, right? And this is a challenge for me in the next 21 days, I'll report back at the end of this month and let you know what I've been able to create in this crafting of my own reality by shifting my thoughts, feelings, and actions into more empowering things that might give me more of what I want in my life. So I challenge you in your life, where can you do this? Have more empowering thoughts have more empowering feelings that lead to inspired, more empowered action, right? Is any of that bad? Is that any of that negative? Is any of that going to hurt you? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll let you know. Have a great day. Check it in. Hope you guys are doing so well. Talk to you.